Good morning guys. It is Monday, December 14th. Right now it's 6.15 a.m. Uh, I'm logging into work and then I'll be back um, to talk to you guys about what you just saw because guess what? I am not so happy about it. And I'll explain why I'm not happy about it. And then we'll talk about what today is, what today starts, um, what and what's going on with my workouts today. So real quick, check this intro. I just had to get out of the bathroom because my wife is still sleeping and I don't like talking in the bathroom when there's a possibility that I might wake her, especially this early in the day. So we'll check out the intro. I'll be right back. Alright, good morning guys. So, here's the deal for today. So, you just saw me weigh in a little bit ago. It's only 627, so it's not like I waited a day to talk about this. It's 627, I had to log in to work. I'm good to go here. Uh, I weigh in every morning. Okay, I don't talk to you guys about it because I wanted to kind of like be something I could vlog about. I weigh in every morning and the last couple weeks I had been doing so so well with progress. You know, Thanksgiving, I went from 226 on Thanksgiving morning to two days later 231 because of the carbs and, and a lot of the a lot of the carbs I was eating. Um, I dropped that down, and then a week ago we went out for Chinese takeout or not Chinese. We went to a Chinese buffet, and I did really really good, not eating like a ton of stuff, right? But I went from like 226 to 229. Right? So I was like, boom, bloated with water weight. Yesterday morning, I weighed in at 225. And I didn't eat much yesterday. Like, I ate normal. I ran. I went to the gym to do legs. And to weigh in this morning at 228 at all, point anything, pisses me off. So... I'm hoping it's just water because I know damn well I did not eat three pounds worth of food extra. Um, so we'll just play it out. And again, if everything will make sense in the end. As long as March 28th on race day, I'm good with where I want to be. And I'm, uh, I need, I, for me to feel really happy about my progress, I need to get out of the 220s. Like, I need to go below 220. And that's what's been frustrating, that I've been stuck in the 220s for like six months now. And I'm really just kind of pissed off about it because I watch what I eat. I don't eat too much. Last night we had gnocchi and meatballs, right? And the only other thing I could think about that might have attributed to any kind of water weight was at church yesterday morning we had a, like a breakfast buffet kind of brought in and I had a small piece like that big of a egg cheese and bacon type casserole thing I had one biscuit and gravy and I had a small scoop of grits that was it and that was at church I mean, we had our waffles on Sunday which are typically been okay but this is kind of pissing me off, so I'm going to play this week out. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to make sure I eat right, drink lots of water. I have not had any Oreos, no sweets. I turned down cookies. I turned down cookie dough last night. And I'm just going to play things out. So what is the plan for the week? Well, we go to my run today. I have a two-mile endurance run at a 9.06 pace. Uh, this week is the last low mileage week of the plan. So it's going to be a light week, not quite a down week, but definitely not a, a long week. I have a two mile run today, four by 800 tomorrow, a uh, 1.75 mile endurance run on Wednesday. A benchmark on Thursday. My long run on the weekend on Saturday is four miles. And then a one and a half mile recovery run. 
that is my run for the week. Now again, that is the this is the last low mileage week of the plan. This week's mileage is about 10 miles, and then it goes 13 and a half, 16 and a half, 19 and a quarter, 20, 22 and a half. We drop down to 19 and a quarter for a little for a week, then 25, then 21, then 26, then 28. So I mean, I'm not going. I'm going. You won't see a week under the. Uh, you no, know, you won't see a 10 mile week again. Not until we finish. There. This is the last mile, low mileage week of the plan. Also, since today is Monday, it is a weight workout day, so it's a double. Um, today's the next two weeks the weightlifting plan shifts, okay? We're not doing chest and triceps today. We're switching it up to chest and back, All right? So today at the gym, we're gonna do chest and back. Um, let's see. Fuck, sorry, I'm tired this morning. Um, chest and back today, legs tomorrow, and then uh, shoulders and arms on Friday. And then I'm doing a total body weight workout on Sunday. Um, that'll be post-church. You'll see that in a couple episodes. But, you know, so the next two weeks, it kind of changes things up with the weights. And then in two weeks, after the next two weeks are over, we will be back to the, uh, the standard schedule of chest and triceps. Because we're just going to restart the, the weightlifting program. So we're almost done. We're on week seven of eight in the weightlifting program. And then we're just going to restart it with the weights I'm currently using and just keep on improving, improving, improving. So that's the plan with that. I'm going to wait until later to do all my workouts. I got two. Like I said, I got to run. And then I got to hit the gym. So I don't know which one I'm going to do first. When I'm going to do what. But, uh. I'm just going to continue to drink my water, flush out some of this water weight, and go from there. Come on. You guys want to go out? Yeah. Hey! Come on. Over here. All right. So, it is about 10.40 or so right now. Um, it is getting hella windy. It's hella windy outside right now. Uh, 54 degrees or 53 degrees as I looked at the temperature just before I came out here. I am going to do my best to get my run in. It's a short run. Again, this is the last low mileage week from here on. This is the lowest mileage week we are going to be doing for the rest of this program. I mean, even my rec my taper weeks are more mileage than this week is going to be. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get changed soon and get get my two-mile run in. It's at a 9.06 pace, so I'm probably going to go a little bit faster. I may not go faster because of the wind. It's like 15 to 20 mile an hour gusts right now, which isn't like super windy. But when you don't like running in the 50 degree weather already... And it's windy like this and it just makes the run not so fun because that just means more clothes I have to wear and everything and ah, I just want to I, I, I want warm weather but it is gonna start getting cold down here in Florida because we have a cold snap coming through where it's gonna be like lows in the 30s over the next couple days um, and then of course January we're setting up. January, February is usually our coldest month where we might even get highs in the 30s and low 40s. So for us that's pretty cold. Um, again, I'm not up north, so if you're up north and you're like, oh, but it's only like 12 degrees here, I don't give a shit. I live down in south, down south in Florida for a reason. Warm weather is that reason, so I want warm weather. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, once I bring the dogs in, I'm gonna go ahead and get, uh, get dressed, get changed. I get my pre-workout and go for this quick run. And uh, then I got to talk to you before I go to the, or probably either before or after the gym, I got my other, my final supplement to the stack added. <whistles> Come on guys. Final supplement added to the stack came in the other day. Uh, I haven't, so I haven't added it to my nutrition yet, but I'm going to be adding it starting today and I'm going to talk to you about it. So.
peace out. All right, so a little bit of bad news. <clears throat> Not really bad news for you, but bad news for me. Um, I'm having issues with my my AirPods. One of them just doesn't sit right in the charging case, so it never it doesn't charge. Like I have to actually, I had to like rip off a piece of an index card and put it inside the case so that it helps kind of elevate but angle the the connector on the bottom of the AirPod to the case itself to the right earbud would actually charge. So my wife called Apple. You know, we went to Best Buy last week. My wife called Apple. Um, and they were like, yeah, set an appointment with Best Buy at 11 on Monday and they'll be expecting you go over in the AirPod case and so on. We'll figure out what to do from there. Naturally, I'm working today, so I couldn't go to Best Buy and my wife is on her way there now if she's not there already. Long story short, she has my AirPods. I don't have any AirPods or earbuds or whatever to listen to music today. So this two miles, I'm going to make it a fast two miles just because it's going to be a silent one. Now, if you've watched previous series, the Iron Man series, right? I got really, really, really used to not training with music because during an Iron Man, you can't have any music. So no music on the, on the bike, which is rather mind rattling like it'll blow your mind if you can do that like five six hours on a bike with nothing in your head except your own thoughts talk about battling personal demons anyway then you got to run the marathon with no headphones no music whatever so really if you're not talking to yourself or to people around you you're not getting any kind of mental block from what's really happening and for me like during especially during this prep running it, while it's meant, while it's therapy, the fact that I'm, I'm not like the hugest fan of running. Like I'm enjoying it now, but I don't like. I'm not gonna like wake up, go, man, I can't wait to go run 10 miles today. So listening to music kind of takes my mind off the fact that I'm actually running outside, and you know, if, if anything hurts, the music kind of helps take that off my mind, and I can sing along and kind of do what I have to do. It's a mental block for me. I haven't gone headphoneless since Iron Man Florida. So this is gonna be a struggle for me, but it's only two miles, so I should be able to do just fine. Anyway, it is right now 1042. We are, I'm, I'm dressed, ready to go. Uh, got my SRI shirt on from 2012, the second year I did it. Uh, the first one, that, that shirt sucked. I think I threw that one away. Anyway, um, Obviously, you can tell I'm rambling. My pre-workout has kicked in. I'm about to go to the bathroom one last time, get my Garmin watch on. Here it is. I've got my running shoes on. There they are. They are looking like shit compared to when I first got them. Uh, but I guess that's what happens when, you know, when you're running a lot. And trust me, I did the calculations as of last week. We have run a lot. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and knock this run out and get out of here so I can go ahead and finish out some more work and then hit the gym for back and biceps. I'd like to do that before I eat my first meal of the day. So I will see you in a minute. All right, so done with the run. Um, and man, you know I, I, so I, I, you know I track with both the Garmin and the Nike Plus because I want to have, you know, I, I know there's a difference between the two. Me personally, I trust the Garmin a lot, so a lot more than I like. I trust the Nike Plus as far as accuracy goes. Here's why I trust it. This is the exact same run, Nike, Garmin. Look at the discrepancies in these two runs, okay? Between the distance was about the same, but the time, a couple seconds off, okay, I started the Nike, then I started the Garmin. Cool. But the elevation, the average pace, the calories burned, which don't put any weight behind calories burned anyway. They're all different. All of them. I run the exact same route. One was up here, one was here on the wrist. And I run like this. So they're pretty close together. It's not like there should be that big of a discrepancy. Okay? Now you're probably thinking, well, again, why aren't you, why are you using both? Just pick one and run with that. Well, the Nike Plus, I have to run with that because that adjusts my training plan. Okay? And the Garmin, I do for accuracy because on the on race day... I'll have the Nike Plus on my arm. Well, it'll be somewhere. Not going to be on my arm. I'll get to that this week in the next video. But I have the Nike Plus here to track the run according to the plan. 
but I want the Nike for accuracy. So this way I can actually just go like this while I'm running and oh look, I'm seeing where I'm at. It's a lot easier and again, I think the Garmin's a lot more accurate than the Nike Plus. So, I've decided that I'm gonna eat before I go to the gym. So instead of getting instead of getting my workout video right now because again it's gonna be different workouts so I gotta show you chest and back combined uh, so instead of giving you a workout montage right now you're gonna watch me make breakfast so enjoy I'm gonna try to keep it quick. There are a lot of people here, so I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get something for you. We shall see. circuit workout so it was four exercises obviously you know three sets of ten each circuit followed by um, core was at the end there was no hit in this workout but it's cool because I already ran this morning so didn't really need the extra cardio tomorrow I will do whatever hit is there because I only have sprints so that'll be good you know I'll get the extra extra cardio burn and that'll be that so I am beat, I'm hungry. I gotta go pick up Mackenzie first. And then I'll go home and I'll have a shake. I'll add my newest supplement to the mix. And I'll tell you guys all about that. And uh, well, that'll be the end of this episode, unless something else comes up. But I'm gonna go get Mackenzie and I'll be back and I will talk to you about the new supplement. Uh, all right, so last clip of the night, and honestly, I was so in a rush after I got home from picking up Mackenzie that I totally, totally, totally forgot to use the new supplement in my shake. So, <clears throat> here, first off, let me tell you what it is. It's called Power Greens, right? Now, what does Power Greens do? Well, for me, I don't eat enough vegetables, and we all know that. If you follow my full day of eating, if you know me at all, you follow my, my vlogs at, in any capacity, you know, I don't eat a lot of vegetables. I've been adding spinach back into my eggs now. Uh, you know, uh, I'll have the occasional green bean or broccoli, but outside of that, I don't eat vegetables worth of shit, okay? But I know that with the fall coming up, I need all the nutrients and winter weather coming up. Me gotta run as much as I have to run. I gotta get as much nutrients as I, as I can. So this is just an extra couple servings of greens, 20 servings in here, basically, it's you know key man. I'm trying to see if it tells me how many are in how much is in here, but anyway, so It's a five gram scoop and it's basically ingredients chlor uh, Chlorella powder spinach powder cucumber powder celery powder kale uh, Kale powder, you know matcha green tea powder and so it's basically a bunch of healthy greens all in one um, all super nutrients. If I'm looking at the dietary facts, the nutrition, 
20 calories per little scoop in here. Uh, it's giving me two and a half grams of carbs, so a gram of fiber, one gram of protein. It's got, you know, almost a gram, uh, about 0.9 milligrams of iron, sodium, you know, 40 milligrams of sodium, 100 milligrams of potassium. You know, so I mean, it's just extra greens, and I don't need greens. So I'll put it in my shake again, you know, starting tomorrow. Unfortunately, I didn't vlog about it today. My bad, I forgot. I was kind of in a rush. I went from the gym to pick up Mackenzie to home, had my shake, had a little something to eat, went right in the shower and just kind of chilled out. So that's that. So I'm going to be adding extra greens into my nutrition plan. Um, again, not because I think, you know, like I'm unhealthy, but with me running as much as I am and me working out, especially with the weather getting colder, I need, you know, all the, all the immune system support I, I can get. Um, so why not add extra greens? It's not going to hurt me in any capacity. It's only going to help me. So I'm going to do that and, and just kind of see how it goes. That's enough. You know, 20, 20 servings will be enough to last me till mid January. I'll probably get another tub if I like it. I'm not going to, it's not one of those supplements where I'm going to feel crazy effects from it. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to know that I'm getting extra greens into my nutrition plan and I don't have to worry as much about not eating, you know, spinach or broccoli or, you know, whatever else I'm not eating because I'm getting five grams of it in that scoop. So that's all I got. So today I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to end it with this clip. Um, we got two weeks of this switched up schedule and we're pretty much restarting the lifting back to, you know, day one, week one. But obviously I'm going to keep the weights where they are, you know, where they end week eight. Um, you know, I'm not going to go back to, you know, like, lower weights. I'm going to keep the weights where they are. I'm going to keep lifting heavy uh, and push myself and progress as much as I can throughout the lifting. But we're just going to, after two weeks of this current schedule, we're going to go back to chest and tries, back buys, shoulders, and legs. So that's the plan. Like I said, this is the last low mileage week we've got. 10 mile week. And then we just, we start ramping it up every week. We are, we're starting the home stretch. So when we get to halfway point, then we know we're almost there. Um, we're almost at the halfway point. So last week the work was really just getting started. This week is our, you know our our last small small week. Next week we go we start going crazy. So I'm gonna end this here. Like I said, hopefully y'all have a good night. See you in the next episode.